Rory, everyone I've spoken to today is obviously absolutely delighted with the three points, as I'm sure you are too. Yeah, it's great because obviously we've not been in great form, but to get a win today sort of puts things back to normal for at least a week. Uh, I think Arsenal as well, so that's a positive, so decent weekend for once. Do you, uh, do you have you taken many positives out of the performance as a whole? Um, obviously, like obviously, we, obviously, you know, didn't concede, scored a goal, which is great. I don't think Norwich were a particularly like tough team to play against today. They didn't um, offer a lot going forward, so I won't go like get carried away and say yeah. our season's back on track or anything. But very like obviously better than losing and stuff. So starting off with the basics, getting the basics yeah. right. Obviously, uh, Costa back on the scoring sheet mm -hmm. after five minutes, five hundred minutes yeah. of not scoring. So uh, do you think he can start getting back to scoring ways? Obviously, it's a bit early to say because obviously again, like I said, Norwich. Like I think they've played some decent stuff at times. I didn't praise much going forward or and at the back they look a bit shaky. So I don't think this is a great um, sort of thing to Example go by. Example to sort it's, of yeah. yeah, but I think obviously. Every single goal will help someone's confidence and hopefully from here you can go on and progress, maybe get a goal against Tottenham next week and go from there because he's a brilliant striker on his day. He just needs to stop you know, having fights with oppositions needlessly. Really. Um, a bit of the talking points have been our uh, left-back, right-back. Mm -hmm. Ivanovic obviously came back yeah. in after seven games out. Kennedy surprisingly yeah. started at left-back. What was your take on Kennedy's performance I and felt, Ivanovic? I felt Kennedy played really well. I think he's been one of our best players this season, you know, whether he's playing left-wing or, or left-back, he's been really good. Uh, Ivanovic is a player I've um, been, you know, he's one of my favourite players um, at the club in recent years. Not had a good start, but he came back today and looked very solid. I think, you know, our best, I personally, our best um, is uh, with Vanovic right back, uh, as for over at left back, and then Kennedy further forward. But yeah, so who would you have if you were, that's what a lot of people are saying. So they were saying Kennedy probably deserves to keep yeah. his place after today's performance, but possibly not at left back. So where would you have him and instead of who? That's the that's thing, because yeah. I think um, everyone, I think William Hazard and Pedro all played really well today, so it's it's a good problem to have when all your, everyone's playing quite well, but it's a, it's a difficult one. But I would think Kennedy's best position is probably on the left wing, but obviously that's quite a crowded position, but I'm not sure. I'm, it's up it's to Mourinho, to be honest. Uh, again, no great, great support for uh, Mourinho once mm -hmm. again in the stadium. You think his, uh, his position is still... Uh, yeah, I think whilst the fans are behind him, I think he's going to have the job sort of secure because I think that's the first thing I think that's what's kept him in the job this long I reckon if there's any other manager with the fans sort of getting on his back who I think would have gone by now but Mourinho obviously Mourinho's got the um, connection with the fans I think whilst that's still there he's got a good chance of staying in the job so. okay well listen fingers crossed yeah, for Tel Aviv and Spurs and then yeah. I think come Monday we'll really know whether our season's turned yeah, around I, I agree I agree completely I think um, today was good win but I think next week against Tottenham's the real test all right thank you very much for okay. talking to me thank you the Chelsea fans channel the international break is over. Uh, real football is back upon us again and I am delighted.